Slithers, did you see those smoke signals from one of the Hallmark Mystery 101 stars? Do the clues add up? Could an eighth mystery movie be on its way to finally end the agony of fans who want a conclusion to the deadly history cliffhanger? Will Travis and Amy finally be reunited? Did Mystery 100 and One Star send smoke signals about new Hallmark movie? Let's start out with the clues. On Sunday, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries aired in Mystery 101 Marathon. Therefore, on Mystery Monday, Elizabeth Video Edits shared an Instagram story that was eventually shared by the romantic leads. She shared a single page with a series of three photos from Mystery 101. The top photo was of Christopher Palaha and Jill Wagner as Travis Burke and Amy Winslow. The second included both actors on a red carpet, along with the third star of the series, Robin Thomas, who portrays mystery writer Graham Winslow. The third photo was of Polaha and Thomas, looking dapper in tuxes. Who is this poster? She seems like a super fan who creates a lot of mystery 101 posts and edits fun videos from the Hammam series. Soon, Christopher Polaha shared the post, however, with his own message. He wrote three sentences. Moreover, with these words, he brought the first mention of another movie after a long drought. Therefore, he brought hope to sleuthers everywhere. Next, Jill Wagner shared Polaha's post to her stories. What is the possible conclusion? Stars of a series will not share posts like this unless there is some sort of interest, or even more. Hallmark stars have a lot of wonderful, dedicated fans who create artwork, video stories, and more. However, this time, Chris and Jill shared that same post. Will there be sequel to Mystery 101, Deadly History? Currently, Hallmark has not said a peep about another Mystery 101 movie. However, just before Christmas, Christopher Palaha was on the Hallmarkies podcast. Speaking to hosts Rachel and Anne, they wanted to know about the conclusion of Deadly History. The Dickens of a Christmas star was happy to oblige. First, Palaha revealed that he was not speaking on behalf of Hallmark. Instead, he shared that he was more of a brand ambassador. In this capacity, he did reveal that the network is talking about more of these movies. How long will it take for Hallmark to develop an eighth mystery 101 movie? Hallmark is infamous for filming a movie in three weeks. The good news is that the script is ready. Moreover, Palaha confirmed that it is locked and loaded. It's written, it's ready. They just have to find a director, gather the cast and crew, and start filming. And it sounds like the Wonder Woman 1984 star has read John Christian Plummer's script. Chris revealed that our agony and wait will all be worth it. When you hear what he has done with it, you guys will be, the payoff is worth all of this. Slithers are asking for more mysteries. Recently, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries has been airing more movies than mysteries. Numerous sources, including Christopher, have shared that the network is re-evaluating its signature mysteries. It is understandable. The ratings on Amen are dramatically lower than on the regular channel. However, they may be trying to improve brand awareness with the highly anticipated Tyler Hines and Auden Reeser, always a more. Giada De Laurentiis produced this movie. In addition, they are soon launching the new Mahogany label with award-winning actress Karen Pittman in Unthinkably Good Things. In 2022, him has already aired the popular Ali Liebert directed in symbol cast North to Home, and perhaps one of the best movies Hallmark has ever made, The Presence of Love, starring Eloise Mumford and Julian Morris. But where are the Hallmark Signature Mystery Series? In February, the network introduced a brand new signature mystery, Cut, Color, Murder, starring Ryan McPartland and Julie Gonzalo. This movie even ended with its own sinister cliffhanger. In addition, they aired a new Aurora Tea Garden that featured Candace Cameron Boer and Lexa Duig's daughters, Natasha Beer and Mia Shanks. On April 10, they are introducing the Curious Curator Mysteries starring Andrew Walker and Nikki DeLoach. Mystery 101 fans may especially be interested in this one.
as John Christian Plummer co-wrote the script as well. However, we also know that Hallmark has already officially canceled a couple of mysteries, and they are evaluating the others. That even includes Aurora and Mystery 101. But even if the network greenlights a new movie, two Polaha and Wagner have time to film a movie. Christopher Polaha's moments like this in development. The multi-talented Christopher Polaha has had a cornucopia of projects come together now, and they all look great. The most recent news is that his novel, Moments Like This, which he co-wrote with Anna Gomes, is now being developed into a movie. According to Deadline, this first book is the From Kana series. The novel is a family saga featuring a multicultural romance that takes place on the Hawaiian Islands. When he spoke to Hallmarkies, he also mentioned that during his COVID quarantine, the actor was quite prolific. In the two weeks, he was able to write a second book. That book is the second installment in the From Kana series, entitled Where the Sun Rises. It will be released in October. Don't forget, Paula Hoth is in the fantastic new Jurassic World Domination, which premieres on June 10. Just six days before that, he is starring with Angie Harmon in Buried in Barstow on Lifetime. And, well, you may see his butt in this movie. Be prepared to blush. Also, Lifetime has greenlit a second Barstow movie. Therefore, filming a new Mystery 101 could require some planning. Jill Widener's new project just added Nicol Kidman, so Saldana. However busy Christopher Polaha is, Jill Widener may have him beat. The Starving Atlantis star has a passion project that is coming to fruition. The Paramount Plus series is called Lioness. She has helped create this series along with Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan. Jill is also an executive producer. In mid-February, it was revealed that Jill Widener's longtime dream project added a couple of very big names. According to the Futon critic, both Zoe Saldana, Avatar, Avengers, Endgame, Nicol Kidman, being the Ricardos, The Hours, will be starring and executive producing Lioness. Tom Brady, Hell on Wheels, Colony, will also be an executive producer, as well as showrunner. For nearly two years, Wagner has been openly sharing this passion project with her fans via her Instagram account. She is also quite lucky. Right now, Taylor Sheridan is the hottest name on television. This is a life-changing opportunity. What is this series about? This is the story of an elite, however, largely unknown program between the CIA and Special Forces. In this global spy thriller, the Lioness program has U.S. female soldiers who gather intelligence by infiltrating the local community, often living with them. This is based on a real program. So it does make a lot of sense why Wagner, who just gave birth to her second daughter, Daisy, last August, has been sharing posts early in the morning. That is because she is working out to get super strong. Her role will require physical strength. However, last weekend, Jill took a well-deserved break with gal pals in Florida. Thanks to her Instagram stories, we'd also learned that on Wednesday, she and her husband, David Leminowicz, headed to Nashville. She was going there for gun safety training. The couple also expects some good food and fun in addition to her training. Clearly, this is in preparation for Lioness. Yet, filming for Lioness does not start until June. Therefore, there is still a window of time for Jill Wagner, Christopher Polaha, and Robin Thomas to reunite for the next Mystery 101 movie. Will Hallmark finally respond to those smoke signals?